All right, so for our next section, we're gonna be talking about uploading a CSV. Sometimes certain exchanges don't API connect. And in this instance, we will have to download a CSV. So for this fact, I'm gonna go into Zen Ledger, which is another, uh, it's another crypto software just like, just like Coinly. And what they do, which I really like, and I've been using Zen Ledger since 2016. I started out with them, so they, I have a soft spot for them. Uh, but one thing that they do really, really well is this. Is right next to the uh, upload feature, you have instructions, and they're all customized for each exchange. They're pretty, pretty good. So, like for example, Crypto.com. It's for some. It's really you, you, there's really no API connection for Crypto.com. Some some do, some don't. And you know, if you don't have an online feature, you can't API connect. So a lot of times people use just the mobile device. And with that, it's really simple. You just open up your wallet, go to the accounts page, tap on the export button on the top right. So it's like one of those download features. Like there's just like that little box with a line in it. You click on that, you put a start and end date. So you want to do for, let's say for 2021 or for all of your years. And then you're going to push download. And you're going to get a CSV. Well, let's open a CSV up. Let's see what it looks like. And it looks like this. And every every exchange does CSVs a little bit different, differently. So this is where things can get a little complicated. And I'll show you why. So the crypto tax offers have gotten pretty good on recognizing the way each exchange does a CSV. But sometimes you may have to do it manually. And I'll show you what ends up happening. So here you have a timestamp. You have a description of what, what you did. There's the currency, there's the amount, there's two currencies. So if you're selling, you know, USDC or you're buying USDC to go into, uh, you know, Cardano, then you have a USDC to ADA, right? So there's two amount from amount. And then you have the, and just a little bit of information. A lot of times you'll have, you know, a hash code or whatnot. So this whole document, needs to be then let's go go back to where we were at browse really simple you just upload this right in done and and that's it right so sometimes unfortunately you will get an error so what do you do in this instance so Add an account. Let me show you how you, how this every single um, every single software has generally the same the same CSV format. So check this. This is what they want. Let's open this up. And I'm going to explain this to you. And this is when things can get a little bit tricky, but with little patience, I think you can do it. So for the most part. Every single software has a timestamp. When did the transaction happen? This is very important because there's a big difference between a short-term and a long-term capital gain. You want to make sure that if you held on for a year, that you take advantage of that tax, you know, that tax difference. There's a big difference between the short-term and capital and long-term capital gains rate, especially if you make money. Now, if you're in the 30 plus percent tax bracket and you can pay 20, 15%, 20%, I mean, that's going to save you a lot. So take advantage of that. Make sure the timestamp is correct. There's gonna be a type, which as you can see is buy, sell, trade, receive, send, initial coin offering, margin trade, staking, airdrop, mining income, a gift, a fee, stolen. There's a staking rewards, dividends received, interest received, some sort of a description. The in amount, there's an in amount and an out amount, in currency, out currency. So in is what's coming in. Like if you're buying something, it's coming in. If you're if you're spending money, it's going out. So if you buy BTC, Bitcoin is coming in and out is going your money. You spent money, so it's going out of the exchange. And what's coming into the or the wallet or exchange, however you want to say it, and what's coming in is what we purchased. There's a fee, the fee currency the exchange and is it US based. Now, if you can fill this out, you can upload whatever you want to these exchanges. They're generally all in that same format, no different. So just be careful of the formatting that you do and be careful with that ins and outs. It's very tricky, but 
Think about it like this. Like I said, where is the money going? If you spend money, it's going out of the wallet. If, you're, if your USD is leaving you, it's going out. What's coming in is what you receive. So if you're receiving a new currency, think about it like money. It's because it's property. If I give you my iPhone, it is going out. If I get an iPhone, it's coming in. And what is the currency that's going in and out? If dollars are going out, the out currency is dollars. If Bitcoin is coming in, then the in coming is Bitcoin. So don't get too confused on that. I know it can get a little bit you know, when you think in and outs and, and, and logically, sometimes it doesn't make sense. But think about it like I just said. So if you come up with errors or something doesn't look right when you added a custom CSV, go back and, and try and make that assumption in your head of what is going in and what is going out.